KSCU Santa Clara, 103.3 FM, the underground sound. And that was a band called, um, let me see here, Tall Something. They are called Tall Dwarfs. <laughs> and they're doing a song there called Walking Home. Before that was The Unforgiven doing I Hear the Call. We had Nitzer Ebb in that set with Hearts and Minds. And uh, let me remind you, I'm Modern Mark. This is the Modern Mayhem Show. And I've got a band out of Portland, Oregon called the English Language. These guys are awesome, let me tell you. They are already on their third album, and um, I've listened to it, and I really like it a lot. It is really fantastic. It's just out of this world. They've done 13 tracks of this album so far. They're sitting in here in the studio right now, and uh, they just kind of walked in, and how are you guys doing? Good. Good. Thanks for having us, man. Real good. Thanks for having (laughs) us, Mark. (laughs) No problem. Having us again. I think it's like what, our third time in here. Is it? Is it been? Yeah. It might be. It's at least our third, yeah. And these guys, they just gave me a, a new shirt of theirs and their new CD times two, one for the station, one for me. And um, talking about the new album, it's called Happy Horror. What do you guys think of it? Do you guys like it? It's your album. <laughs> you put it out, but what do you really think of it? Uh, yeah, I think it's our best stuff yet. Is it really? Okay. Um, well, before we talk any more about it, I want to play a track off the album. Should we go in order, or is there anyone you guys want me to start with? Yeah. I want to give the audience a taste of what we're yeah, going to be talking first about. Track. Yeah, let's go in order. Okay, this is the English language doing a song called Dying Easy, and you'll see what I'm talking about here. <laughs>
KSCU Santa Clara 103.3 FM. The Underground Sound, that's the English language doing a song called Dying Easy. The first track off their new album called Happy Horror. And really good stuff, guys. You guys are really like, I don't want to say you improved, but you've definitely continued the sway of your sound. I really like it a lot. It seems a little bit more harder than the last album. Do you guys agree with that? Yeah, it's a little more intense or dark or whatever. Yeah, whose idea was that? Was that just sort of a just unanimous yeah, kind of thing? Sort of a rough year. <laughs> yeah, sure, that came out. <laughs> now, I know you guys were here in California for a long time, and then you guys moved to Oregon. Was there a reason for that? or? Yeah, like the rent was crazy. It was just yeah. It was too hard to like make it by, and there wasn't enough stuff for us to do, it felt like. Yeah, gigs were few and far between, huh? Yeah, so we just, and it's been a good thing, just the change, you know, just shaking things up for everybody in our lives, you know, it's like growth and all that stuff. What about the music scene up there? Is it a lot different than down here? Yeah, there's just like so many more bands doing lots of different things and places to play like every night, like decent places. Hmm. Um, I think there's like a lot of smaller scenes, uh, like way more, like kind of like the, how small the scenes are here, but like way more of them. So like you can sort of go around. Oh, wow. So there's a lot more venues up there, I guess, too. Yeah, way more. Now, how long is it? Have tenfold. You so far? Since like July, ten August. Ten months or something? Yeah. Oh, ten months. Does it seem like it's been that, that long? Or? This, uh, it's gone by pretty yeah, fast. It's such me. a blur. Like It's kind of like an eternity, <clears throat> but also like in a blink of an eye kind of thing. So then getting back to the, the new album, has um, producing and recording the new album... Is that kind of produced a change? Well, we've always done that. Okay. Yeah, we've always done everything pretty much in house. This is the first album we've ever done that had somebody who wasn't in the band work on it. It was the mastering engineer. Oh wow. Okay. Whoa. And then what? What enlightened you guys to want to call it Happy Horror? Where'd that idea come from? We just had that name for a while and kind of like explained how we felt about the whole process i guess it made sense and then how long did it take you guys to write and record the album mm, probably really like three months for recording total, yeah like, like locked recording, in the basement recording and mixing three months total probably wow that's yeah. pretty insane yeah it was we were sprinting yeah. we're still sprinting right now yeah. like on tour Jeez. how many how many uh, shows do you guys plan to do to help support the album Mm, well, just about near the end of this tour we've been on, and I don't know how many exactly we've done. Probably done like 12 dates at least on this tour, and then we're going to go back to Portland and play around there in Seattle, and then do another tour through like Idaho, Utah, Colorado, Wow, Are you guys going to go to L.A. at all? We were supposed to, but it fell through on yeah. this tour. Had a couple oh, really? of things like cooking, but... Never fully panned out. Yeah. So then, do you have an idea of like how many shows you plan to do all together? To help Ooh, man. Support the show, or how many you want to do? Uh, Probably. as many as we can in like the weeks that we are decided to go on tour. You know, three yeah. weeks. Try to do as many as we can every day, hopefully. Okay. So yeah, it'll end up it'll end up being you know a couple dozen here and there. And now, is that the only way you guys plan to support the album, or do you want to support it in other ways, like on the internet? Or through some magazines or anything like that? Yeah, we're trying to get reviews. We're probably just starting that process now, especially in back in Portland. There's like the Mercury and stuff like that. We need to get some reviews. You did a review, so that was cool. Yeah, I tried yeah. to do my best on that. <laughs> yeah. It's it. a good review. Yeah. yeah I, was, I was really into it, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to like do a little sentence on every song. Cause yeah. I really liked it a lot. And we got that write-up in the Mercury when we got here, or in the Metro when we came back here, and that was cool. That's awesome. Mm. Well, I'm definitely going to take my review and slap it on the front and put it in rotation here. Yeah, so sweet. All the DJs will play it. Awesome. And I might even do my own special on it, like in a month from now, and just play the whole thing. Cool, cool. You guys are awesome like that. You lit me in your video. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> take I it a slug. <laughs> I feel like a rock star. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, <"Rah." laughs> I don't even drink whiskey, but that's <laughs> perfect scene. You do now. I know, I do now. That's great. Well, without any uh, further ado, I want to play some more tracks. Should we just go in order? Yeah. Sure. Sure. Okay. Well, this is a song called Sister Satan. 
I don't know if I could play this on the air, but I'll go for it anyway. This is the <laughs> English language oh, with Sister Satan. You act so sad, but I see no tears. It's never certain that you'll be here tomorrow. KSCU Santa Clara 103.3 FM, the underground sound, and that is once again the English language doing a track there, the second track off their new album called Happy Horror. The song is called Sister Satan. I gotta ask, what's that about? Uh, <laughs> girls? Oh, girls? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just leave it at that, huh? <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so, looking at the, the album cover and just the artwork on the Digipack, great work, by the way, guys. This is, it's all nice. pretty much, everything's in red. It's kind of sinister like that. I kind of like that. <laughs> um, it's just fantastic artwork. I really like it a lot. Plus, you guys got shirts made up uh, by the same artist who did the artwork on your last album. This is Science right. Rock and Roll. Yeah. And uh, the Eric shirts, Smith. What's his name? Eric Smith. Does he have it's a website? I don't know if he does. I don't think he does. Yeah. He's, he's in the band Joan of the Rivers, and those guys are rad. Yeah. Okay. Love those guys. Where and are they from? They're from, from here. Oh, they're from the from Bay. Yeah. We shared a practice studio with them for like a year, more than that probably. I don't even know how long it was. And oh, yeah. That's another thing I want to ask you guys. When you guys are going out on tour doing shows, um, is there other bands and artists that play with you guys? Or is it just you guys? 
Yeah, we actually yeah. Uh, on this tour we played with we played with the Alabama Shake, Alabama no, no. Like da- Down Dirty Shake. Down Dirty Shake, yeah, I always say that. We one. played with them like three times. Yeah, we played with. We have, ended up booking an extra one with them in San Francisco on Wednesday, so that was cool. They hooked us up on that one. Wow, and then um, I guess the uh, people who list, go to your shows, they could also get the T-shirts, right? At yeah. the shows. Yeah, find us at a show, or you can go online. Get it all there. Yeah, where can people purchase a new album? Englishlanguagemusic.com. <laughs> or, ban- or Bandcamp. Or Bandcamp. Mm. And when was the official release date of the album? We didn't really have one. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of we a just soft release. Like, 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 actually, it's still going on. It's <laughs> yeah. still going on. Oh, it's an but probably release. like April, early April, I guess. Friday the 13th. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, on, yeah. I think online mm. it officially came out to like March Friday 26th the 13th. or something like that. That's perfect. March. Yeah. Now, when you guys perform live, do you do the whole album live or just selected cuts? No, we'd only do maybe five or six. Like half. Yeah. <laughs> Some of them are just not they're not the right, like, up vibe for live show kind of thing. Or they just can't be pulled off fully at this point. Let me get in here, dude. Wow. Oh, I want to talk about you guys. You guys got a bus. Is that yeah. True? Tell, tell we me bought about a bus. bus. We bought a bus. Hmm. Tristan's car is about to die. We had two grand and we needed a vehicle. So me and him went to like 15 used car dealerships on 82nd Street. 15? <laughs> yeah, all up and Literally, down. probably. Wow. <clears throat> but it was all too expensive. And then we found this one on Craigslist. This guy, he told us to meet him at the Unicorn Hotel. Is this all in Oregon? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, okay. Oregon. yeah, it's in Portland. Southeast. So we go there. The dude lives in the hotel. <laughs> He comes out in a wheelchair. He's like a Canadian Navy veteran. Wow. Okay. And he can walk, but it hurts. That's that's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> so he showed us the bus, and it had like no fluids in it, and it was trashed, like really gross, it was disgusting, mold. Man. We Ugh. found a dead rat in there. Ugh. I mean, a dead, dead bird. bird. A dead bird and a bag of meth. Yeah. A bag of meth. Yeah. You know how much it was worth? <laughs> no, never mind. I don't. <laughs> But yeah, we bought it for two grand. Did you let him know the meth was in there? Maybe he wanted it back. Well, we found it later. Oh, he probably did. But okay. Well. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. It's, what color is it? Uh, it's white. It looks like a church bus or something, like a airport shuttle bus or something like that. Do you know how many miles was on it? Two hundred and thirty-seven thousand. Holy Toledo! That lasted longer than my Toyota. <laughs> <laughs> Going. It's still going. It has no suspension either. So uh, yeah, it's a it's rough ride. Really, sometimes. <laughs> really bumpy. But it works. You get like a foot of air in the back. <laughs> you know, it's not good for your kidneys. It's, <laughs> well, it's getting you to where you need to go, right? It's. It has, it's yeah. been amazing. Yeah, I, don't, I can't believe that it's. We haven't had any major problems at all with it yeah. on this trip. And I'm thinking if it's white, you guys could probably like paint your logo on it, the English language, kind of like the. The last album that came out, maybe. I don't want to draw attention to it. Yeah, no. that's the thing. Yeah, we don't get we don't get jacked, and we don't want to get pulled over. I guess that's true. Okay. Well, <laughs> it sounds great, and they could probably get away with it in '68, but you can't do it now. Wow, it's too dangerous. You guys haven't had any problems with it since you've been driving it? Not really at all. Yeah. Uh, no. Is I don't it? Think is, so. is it a stick or an automatic? It's automatic. 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 And Gas. Then, 350. What is it? Ford E350. Wow. Yeah. Is it able to hold all your gear? Yeah. And then some, yeah. Wow. So we took out we all, all the seats. On it. We took out all the seats when we got it and scrubbed it down and then sort of put them back like how the best possible way we could try it, like figure it out. Wow. So the gear go. Oh, there was also like a wheelchair lift. <laughs> well, that's perfect for the gear. Yeah, it's yeah. perfect. Wow. <laughs> I've only really needed to use it like once or twice, but it's it's definitely handy. It looks cool too. <laughs> it's flashy. Yeah. It's <laughs> great. Who who ends up driving it? Who who's the driver? Oh, we all take turns. Oh, you all take turns? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I guess you guys have a, a fourth wheel here. Who who drives? Matt in the back there. Yeah, that's Matt in our, the back. That's our neighbor, Matt. Matt. Don't say to hello, me. Matt. Say, say hello. hello Hi, I'm Matt. <laughs> <laughs> that's our neighbor from Portland. He yeah. just decided to come along. So. Wow, that's pretty good. So then, when all these guys are sleeping and kind of knocked out, you take over the wheel yeah yeah uh, you gotta pin it away somehow so i'm driving along <laughs> that's perfect yeah oh my gosh. How, how long have you lived in oregon um i showed up within like 
two weeks with these guys just next door. Um, and then, From California? Yep. Yeah, I was in Santa Cruz for like three years and then moved up to Portland. And now here I am somehow. <laughs> Back in California. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where were you before Santa Cruz? Um, I lived in Sunnyvale for a year. Um, that was in Texas before that. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That's so. perfect. Jeez. Well, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I was hanging out all the time with these guys. and They're fun, huh? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, I, no, I, no, not just fun. Like It's a huge learning experience. Uh, if you like, keep I'm, hanging out with them, you might end up in a music video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, You'll I, get I, credit yeah. on our next one. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's the best part right there. Um, I want to give an audience uh, more of a listen to the new stuff. So um, let's dive more into the new album by the English language. And uh, the new album is called Happy Horror. This is a track called X-Ray Glasses. I think this is my favorite one. I think you guys should do like a video on this one. Mm. I found an old magazine I never had seen. I picked it up and looked at all the ads. And in one little square, I could see they had a pair. Of X-ray glasses So I tore out the page And I chunked up my change To see if I might have enough to buy For just a little green I could see through anything With my X-ray glasses I would roll Town while the sun beats down and the pretty girls enjoy their summer day. I like what I see when I'm wearing these. They keep my old mind, my mind so satisfied. So if you need a friend, we can meet behind the lens. Of my X-ray glasses oh, KSCU Santa Clara, 103.3 FM, The Underground Sound. I'm Modern Mark. Welcome woo. to the Modern Mayhem Show. I'm here with the band, The English Language. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah. Keep it up. These guys are great. They're already on their third album, and it was just released. In as many years. It's dropping it. Oh, I tell you, it's, hot. it's really hot. <laughs> and red. It's called Heavy. Happy Horror. It's hot right now. Where can, guys, where, can, where can anybody find you on the internet if people... Who are on the internet right now want to find... Please go to EnglishLanguageMusic.com. Is it the yeah. English language? No, no, no the, just EnglishLanguageMusic.com. EnglishLanguageMusic.com. And do you guys also have a Facebook page? We do. And Bandcamp? And Bandcamp and SoundCloud. And Reverb Nation. Reverb Nation mm. and iTunes and whatever everything that they have. If you can use a computer and you can type in the words, like, you'll find it. Like, you know. Yeah. Band, English music, language band, you'll music, find it. San Jose, Portland, whatever. And when is your next gig? And where's it going to be at? Uh, right now, it's going to be the fourth in Chico at the Guinness 
record breaking event. Oh for yeah, the longest concert. What, what happened? You, you guys broke a world record or something like that? Yeah, they're so they're doing like a. Okay, the record is to play for the longest concert, twenty four seven, and the previous record was fifteen days, and Chico's going for thirty. So we played earlier on the way down the coast, and the record's already beaten, but we're going to go back up because they're trying to double it. So we're going to play on the 4th, and then it ends on the 5th on Cinco de Mayo. And so there's going to be bands on the 5th, on the 5th too, on that night? Yeah, I think it ends at noon on Cinco de Mayo, and then it's a big finale party. Cool, yeah. Wow. But you have four minutes in between acts. And yeah, you can't crazy. change gear. It's all the same backline. You just get up, plug in, and play. It, and you have yeah. 20 seconds in between each song. It's no. There's it's like there's no breaks. 24 that's the, seven. That's, that's the that's the rule. You know, it's like it's straight music. You get four minutes and 20 seconds between bands. 20 seconds between songs, and each song has to be at least two minutes. And there's no jamming. It has to be like songs. Oh my God, do you guys have? Can you do that? I mean, we did it. Yeah, it was, we did it for an hour. We it was do, we cut it close. Yeah, it, we cut it pretty. We have close. like all these witnesses. There's like Guinness witnesses, and there's time clocks everywhere, and people are like yelling at you. Like, yeah, five like, seconds. Looking like, around, like at the end of a song, like did we meet the time? Like because we have some short songs, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it got got pretty close on one or two of them. Like if you mess that up, you screw up the whole thing, you know. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> but now we're gonna go back. <laughs> we're gonna go back, do it again for two hours now instead of one. So you're trying to break the record, right? It's already they're, broken. They're trying to double it. They already broke it. it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That is insane. Yeah, it was really probably one of the like most hectic sets I've ever it's played. It's an amazing operation. Those guys running it are awesome. Yeah. And they're doing it for free, I think. Yeah. Wow. Just like for the city, yeah. It, this is in Chico, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, one of the guys who's running it, he just did a 12-hour set like a couple nights ago. 12 hours straight. Jesus. That's crazy. 20 seconds between songs. He didn't even pee or nothing. <laughs> For 24 hours? 12 hours. For 12 hours. From one to one, I think it was. That guy's got a strong blood. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how he did that. As often as I need to go, I, I wouldn't be able to do it. Not even you barely get time. through your two-hour show. He's got Band-Aids on his hands now. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I would, like, need a diaper or something. <laughs> That's what I said. Need, like, a bucket or something. <laughs> yeah. It's like that video where you're sitting on the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm here with the English language. I'm Modern Mark. You're tuned to KSU Santa Clara, 103.3 FM. The underground sound. Got to keep it legal. Top of the hour. Um, I want you guys to go ahead and introduce yourselves and tell me what part of the band you play in. We'll start with Tristan. Okay, I'm, I'm Tristan. Uh, I play bass and I do background vocals. Uh, yeah, that's it. Hi, I'm Mark. Uh, and I play the drums. <laughs> also, Mark. Mark Dan. It's like his dating Mark. video. Yeah. Hey. But yeah, I play the drums in the band. Mm-hmm. And some percussion, too. You'll do some percussion on the album, too. How about background well. vocals? Do you? No. no. We don't no, I stay away from that. <laughs> and rightfully so. But he does shout on stage, so <laughs> I've it's been known kind to of... create a clamor sometimes on stage. But no, I, I try to stick to the drum parts. Okay. That's enough. That's enough. And then we got. That's enough. <laughs> uh, I'm Kyle. I play guitar and sing. Yeah. Who writes the music, lyrics, and that sort of thing? Kyle. Me. That's all you. Yeah. It's all Kyle. Yeah. And then we got, of course, uh, Matt in the background. Yeah. Road manager Matt. Road manager Matt. Oh, I'm, a, story. Uh, I'm a <laughs> terrible road manager, terrible roadie. <laughs> He's an okay driver. Keep the band I'm alive. Okay you can't driver. be that bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I've been told I'm I'm the balance behind the scenes, just hanging out. You know you're doing well, and the drummer is still alive. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the bust and fall on him, so he's, he's great. And uh, we're also talking about the English language's new album called Happy Horror. Why don't we get into some more music from the new album? This is a song called "I'll Get You High," a good mind and some soul. What's the song about? Never mind. Okay. Here's all this is like two in high. one, two songs in one on this song. English language. She 
I'll Get You High by the band The English Language from their new album, Happy Horror. (laughs) Again, you guys, that was a great track. I just love the change in that song. It starts off all slow and then it like picks up. It's like. It's kind of a medley. Yeah. Whose idea was that? Was that. Combined with two songs. Yeah. That was a long time ago when you can sort of conceive that whole thing. Years ago. Yeah, it's really good. I really like that a lot. Again, I have to ask, what is that about? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, once again, it's a track there called I'll Get You High, A Good Mind, and Some Soul from the new album by the English language called Happy Horror. And again, you can pick up this album off of their website. It's um, the English language music. English language music without, dot com. Without the. No the. Yeah. No the. And I believe it's also available on Bandcamp. Yes. Bandcamp. And your guys' next show is May 4th up in Chico. As of now, yeah. We might have one in Reno on the 3rd, but that's in the air. That's so in the air right now. But yeah. Okay, you guys also have a Facebook page. We do. So look them up. And, um, we're gonna it's be easy. Looking. It's very easy. It's so easy. Everybody's Facebook friendly. We're so, all friends. That's right. <laughs> and... Um, there's something I was going to ask you guys. Um, I forgot what it was. <clears throat> something about... Oh, videos. Oh. Do you guys have a video related to the album? Yet? We have one. It was supposed to be done before we left, but everything has been so crazy. Uh, it's going to be done when we get home. Okay. <laughs> and also, if you if anybody listening catches these guys live, you can purchase their album at the show. As well as their new T-shirt. It's nice yeah. and cheap. CDs, cassettes, and we're going to have vinyl pretty soon, so that'll be cool. First time we've done vinyl. <clears throat> oh, yeah. When's the vinyl coming out? Uh, what are we, just getting the Dude, test. Yeah, vinyl's crazy. Like, There's only 20 pressing plants in the whole United States. Are so like, Waiting time is like 14 to 16 weeks. Yeah. So ours time. should be here like mid-July. Wow. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, yeah. That's pretty crazy. Oh. <laughs> Any plans on doing another album? Have you guys... Yeah, we haven't talked about that at no, all. Yet. Too early, huh? <laughs> yeah. You gotta finish all the Yeah, we got stuff. too much stuff to do to promote this thing. Okay. Um, I want to get into the next track. It's called Delane Leia. Um, Delane Lay. Delane Lay. Um, what is that about? For the listeners... That's, uh, that's an old studio from the 60s. It's just uh, about going to a studio and just... Bombing? Having a really bad time and bombing it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, why don't we just go for it right now? Here's the English language with the song called Delane Lay. Place me. 
KSCU Santa Clara, 103.3 FM, The Underground Sound. That's track nine from the new album by the English language called Happy Horror. That track is called Everybody Loves You, Babe. Before that was She Tells Me Everything. And before that was Behind the Times. And just before that was Thank You, Rum Dum Dum. And before that was Delane <laughs> Lay. Lay. How do I say it? Delane Lay. Yeah. Delane Lay. So a lot of tracks there. And by the band, the English language. It's their new album. It's their third album. These guys are just rolling along. How long have you guys been together? I think it's like four years. I don't know exactly. 2012 or something. Yeah. 2011. 2012, 2011. That's pretty darn good for a band, I think. You know, a lot of bands break up and they go off into spinoffs, but you guys are able to keep it together pretty well. Do you think it's because you guys are a trio? There isn't so much drama? It's easier, for sure. Yeah. It's easier and harder. It's easier and harder. And plus the fact that you guys all live together. True? We do. Yeah. Yeah. That was the big thing, like the learning experience and <laughs> all that. So because of that, are you guys able to write and record more music than a normal band that doesn't all live in the same household? Mm-hmm. I'd say so, yeah. I don't know if I'd say more, but we're more focused. More focused. Yeah, we have a chance to focus. And would you say you guys' <clears throat> band chemistry is pretty pretty much all there, all together? Yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Def- that's definitely what's one of the things that's sort of been a result of like living together for so long and like working working at the house and all that. And, like, right. Um, the other thing I want to ask is, I want to know what, as a band, what is the English language's influences? As far as Ooh. yeah, good yeah. question. A lot. Yeah, we all have like, <clears throat> we all have sort of our own, our own. Uh, lineage for for that sort of thing but uh um, we'll start with you tristan yeah i mean uh what do you listen to in your spare time or what did you grow up listening to or uh i mean i played classical for a long time but I, like my dad was always into rock so like i played a lot of rock um like he was into a lot of like um i don't know like southern rock bands and stuff like that i think he was like a deadhead for a while but i got into like heavier stuff like led zeppelin and all that and then what was your first uh led zeppelin album i think i well what i used to do was illegally download discographies <laughs> <laughs> of bands that i wanted to get into i knew i needed to be into them or whatever right so yeah like i would just download all of led zeppelin and then <clears throat> devour it for like two months i did that with like with led zeppelin i did that with pink floyd i did that with like king crimson zappa wow that's sort of like how i that was like the work, you know, the work is to like consume as much as you can and listen to it over and over again and learn, really learn it. So that's right. like why, why I did it that way. It was like download discographies, learn the band for real. You know, that was sort of my, my way of doing it. What about you, Kyle? Uh, man, I don't know. What did you always been, listen to? Uh, I didn't even listen to music until like eighth grade or something. You know, I didn't have music around the house for at least not this kind of music. That's when I started, yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah, super heavy. I think my first album was Beach Boys, like Greatest Hits or something Okay. Like back then. But yeah, real heavy on 50s and 60s, but also, you know, 80s punk and 90s stuff like uh, Nirvana, Sublime, stuff like that too. That's good stuff. How about you, Mark? Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, this band has helped me explore new i think last time we were here i talked about like the kiss influence and oh, my dad's yes. vinyl collection and all that stuff but actually meeting these two guys kyle and tristan it both turned me on to different things particularly like uh stuff from the 60s um it makes me even think of like the earliest album i think i ever heard too as a kid was the monkeys album and how blaine you know and jim gordon some drummers that were doing a lot of studio work that are on all those like Beach Boy, Jan and Dean, Simon and Garfunkel albums. And, and the playing is really more concise, you know, it's, it's, uh, fits in with the rest of the arrangement, you know? And so it kind of makes for a different role as a drummer and our music it, it takes on a bit of that in a way, you know, it's, it's got its improvisational aspects, but it's still, it's sort of how it all fits together as a band. You what know? are some drummers that admire you? Or you're admired by? 
admired by or um <laughs> that's a good question okay any any famous drummers i could really use a plug here yeah <laughs> call, <please laughs> if call. you're out there let me know man <laughs> what, what do you think of Alan no there's White? there's a there's a ton there's there's a lot but um these days i i guess uh it's been music from like the 60s and i've been getting into like like jim gordon you know, harry nielsen worked with him and the wrecking crew out of la um but I've been getting back into jazz even more so, like Elvin Jones and Tony Williams. Wow. Just trying to kind of get back into the jazz thing for solo ideas and just inspiration, you know. Um, but a lot of the drummers that are more of um, solid, they, they tend to play more concise. Charlie Watts from the Stones, the mm -hmm. Kinks drummer, what's his name? I can't remember his name. That guy's really important drummer too, you know. Um, yeah, there's just a, a bunch, but I try to not. You know, um, you know, it's, I try to focus on one style if, you know, it's kind of, I've been spending more time listening to a certain era, like the sixties era in my own time, you know, That's yeah. interesting. cause I just never really have delved into that certain bands, like from that era, you know, I was into the dead, but it's sort of like a more freer jam band oriented style of drumming. Whereas like. Do you, you know, find you can improvise more as you're jamming or when you're doing basic um, recording? I think if anything, because I've done that style, it it's more like I hear the whole band mm -hmm. and how it, it's interacting. Uh, but it doesn't necessarily mean that I, I play that way. It just means I more have the, an awareness because you sort of have to in order to be able to improvise, you know, right. of what's going on. Got to listen. Yeah. I'm so. not going to leave the bus driver. Yeah, out Matt, you want to chime in on influences? some influences? What do you listen to when you're driving the bus? Matt makes music too. Yeah. What do uh, you do, Matt? Oh man, what? I speak yeah. your mind. Oh man, yeah, this <laughs> is a, a different angle for sure. Like I, I remember early having to electronic music, like not so much um, dance music, but um, you know, like like Tangerine Dream, and I, I listened to a lot of uh, Night Shells growing up. Like, that, that was like that. I mean, that, that was really what it was. Was just something from a totally different angle. If you like Tangerine Dream and Nine Inch Nails, you'll love my album. Y yeah. It seems like I was reading the thing. It just, it's right up his alley for sure. Yeah. Oh, what's your album called? Modern Mark. Modern Mark. Perfect. It's yeah. everywhere. It's on iTunes, Amazon, CD Baby. It's everywhere. Philip uh, Glass. I had it licensed and everything. <laughs> well, I did earlier, so, yeah. Oh, you got a website? Uh, I don't. I have a Facebook page. <laughs> Oh, Facebook, cool. Yeah, so I'm set. <laughs> Easy. You have some synths, analog synths you're using on this, or? It's all, I'm using 80s synth synthesizers from the 80s. Uh. Like the ones the cars used. Nice. Uh. And I just overdubbed like all kinds of weird sounds on it. Cool. Yeah, it seems right up, right up Matt's alley. You'd love it. Cool. But enough about me. This is about the English language tonight. <laughs> and I want to help promote their album called Happy Horror. And I got to say something. How did you... Where did you find this chick on the album cover? Oh, man. Or is that something I shouldn't ask? Man, this whole thing, like, it's come down to the wire on everything. Like, art, I don't know. I just threw that together, like, the it's great two artwork. days before it it's had like to be fantastic. in. Same with the shirts. We got the shirts, like, the day of tour. We got the CDs, like, four days before. And tapes oh, were, like, three tour, days. Where are you guys playing? For those just tuning in. Oh, uh, next we're playing the fourth in Chico at the Tackle Box for the Guinness World Record longest concert ever. Fourth. Yeah. And you guys are also on Facebook. Just look up the English language. And they have a website called EnglishLanguageMusic.com. Do yeah. not put yeah. the there. Do not put the. <laughs> Do not. EnglishLanguageMusic.com. You'll find everything about them there. Yep. And, um... That brings us up to, we're about 8.30 now. You're tuned to KSU Santa Clara, 103.3 FM. The Underground Sound, I'm Modern Mark. Welcome to Modern Mayhem here with the English language here, live in the studio. He came all the way from Portland, Oregon. And uh, are you guys planning to stay there, or are you guys going to move, or how's that going for you? Uh, well, so our, our, lease is, our lease is up in July, and then we're month to month. So we have all the time in the world every month to think about it. So. Oh, they're not going to put you on another year? I, no, I think, no, I think that's go how month it works. To month. Yeah. But we're touring in July, end of July, and going out to Denver and everywhere in between. Okay. And I think we're going to Burning Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Burning in the man. bus. Wow. With the bus. 
When is that? I think it's the end of August. End of August. Yeah. Okay. So you guys are doing pretty well. Um, do you know how well the album is selling? Do you have a way of finding out or? Well, pretty much just what we've sold on all, tour. All the gas is paid for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah, we've been good. The last That last show we played at Caravan was killer and we made a decent chunk of change and it helped a lot. It's okay. been good actually. We've been making money like not a lot, but you know, enough to keep going. We haven't been stiffed. I think that's that yeah, yeah it hasn't happened. That hasn't okay, happened. Do you guys have awesome. any like tour drama stories to tell or No, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, what about the audience reception? I mean the audience's reaction to you guys playing? Did they seem to It's be- been good. It's been really good. Even like we played in Reno at 11 a.m. at a record store record on store record day. store day. And like oh. they dug it. It was like in the middle of it, like right in front of this record store, right in front of the glass. Recycled like, Records. Like, yeah. In Paul Reno. is really rad. That place rocks. Yeah. What's it, it called a cool again? Spot. Recycled Records. In Reno. Yeah. It's right that was like 11, a, 11 a.m., you know, and they dug it. You know, like, every, you know, we've had good receptions pretty much everywhere we went. A lot of that has to do with like what you booked, too. You know, like if you booked a bad gig, you'll know. You guys are amazing. I just want to say that. <laughs> just effing amazing. Um, I'm going to play another cut off the new album so the listeners who are just tuning in can uh, get a taste of your music. This is the English language from their third new album called Happy Horror, doing a song called Sunshine on Chrome. <laughs> far from my home when I found I was born with my pocket sewn so full of sand I went out to the road on my new search for gold with my fingers crossed Where did I go? KSCU Santa Clara, 103.3 FM, The Underground Sound. That's the English language doing a song called Sunshine on Chrome. What's the story behind that one? Oh, man. Sunshine on Chrome. We had the guitar recorded for that because it was supposed to be on the second album, but we never finished it. And we were in a uh, pickle with getting songs done. We already had the guitar done, so we just knocked it out at the house. Yeah, it was in the files. I've just sort of been browsing, browsing the files, you know, like what we had, what we could do. And that one's, I knew it was there. I knew it had been there. And I, you know, I, I, I remembered it. Like I knew there was, you know, something there that needed to be finished or whatever, but we never got to it. 
And that's the only ballad on the album, right? Yeah. Yeah. Quite like that. That one's like, that one's sort of like the weird, the orchestration kind of element, you know? It's the only one that's really got it that, that, that particular way. Do you guys ever perform that one live? No. Never have. Yeah. No. no. Have you, have you guys ever thought about taking in any of your songs from any of the albums and like redoing them or remixing them? That's how I feel about every <laughs> yeah. recording on really. Every you got to be album. done at yeah. some point, you know. Yeah. You can't go back because you, you're you never gonna well, be happy. You might as well be going forward if you're gonna like keep working. You know, if you're gonna be doing something, you might as well be doing something new. So then, how do you know when when a song is actually finished? Because you always can go back. Time, time, yeah. <laughs> deadlines. Oh, <that's> deadline. <laughs> so you guys give yourself a deadline for an album? Yeah. Or? Well, as there's deadline as, for production yeah. too. You know, like before tour, we, you have to have this done. Yeah, you to gotta get have the CD in, your in time. Okay, that's amazing. Um, and without further ado, I'm just going to go on to the second track. It's called Love is Happening Again. Is this inspired by any event or anything? Love nope. is Happening Again. No, I don't know. Just uh, it's rock, a stupid straight song. Ahead, <laughs> straight ahead <laughs> rocking. Don't talk about your own song. Like that. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no song is stupid if it's on an album. Um, Love is Happening Again. Well, we'll just let the audience decide. Okay, this is the English language <laughs> doing a song called Love is Happening Again. KSU Santa Clara 103.3 <laughs> FM. Well, can we can we repeat that story? Right? No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> um, that. That's a song called "Love Is Happening Again" by the English language from the new album Happy Horror. <laughs> and um, this is just an amazing album. You guys really did a great job on this. Thank you. Lot, man. I'm planning to play the the whole album again, maybe in a few months, maybe this summer on, on my show. Because it's just really good. You guys are really talented. You guys got your own sound going. And it's just, it's really out there. So when people ask you what genre of music you play, what do you say? Oh, I man. tend to write psych rock and roll. Like it's Psych rock, psychedelic yeah. rock and roll, whatever that means. Yeah. It doesn't really matter what you call it. Yeah. Have you, have you guys received it's, any? Rock and roll is the best thing to call it, but it doesn't mean anything. So. That's pretty bland. Yeah. 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 
What about like reviews? Have you gotten any reviews from anybody from DJs or magazine writers? We've only had like two. Yeah. yeah. I think we need, yeah we'll get more on this album in the coming months hopefully. Okay, and then um, you guys are playing live. I think it's May fourth. May fourth in Chico. Yeah. Okay, and you guys have a Facebook page. You're on Bandcamp. You have your own website, EnglishLanguageMusic.com. How long has that site been up? Mm, not since, since years. Like 2012, I think. Yeah. 2012. And then um, your guys' album is available on Bandcamp on the website as well as the live shows. If so you buy it from us on the website, then we don't have to pay anybody to sell it. So it's kind of illegal, but yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> you gotta make money. Yeah. You know, that's pretty good. But if you come to the gigs, it's way cheaper. Well, you know, the, we have the cheapest you. stuff you can get. <laughs> If you wanted to open up for any band in the world, whether they're together or not together anymore, what band would you love to open up for? Hmm. Your oh dream my. band. Beatles? I don't know. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> the Kinks or something. The Kinks? Beatles? Oh, man. I don't know. Grateful Dead? No. Buddy Holly, man. Buddy Holly. Yeah. yeah. Chuck Berry? That'd be awesome. Chuck, is he still alive? I think he is. I think he is. And he has a lot of Cadillacs. <laughs> wow. And then the Trogs. The should be rad. Yeah. <laughs> How about naming some uh, local bands or artists that you guys like, whether they're up in Portland or around like here? Any of them. <laughs> they all suck, huh? Everybody no. Uh, okay, San Jose, Joan and the Rivers are rad. Those guys are awesome. Grimace and the Fakers. Grimace and the Fakers, probably the best band in San Jose for the yeah. past few years. Shout out. Nobody knows so about them. Fun. They're so much they fun. They rock. Oh, yeah. man. I don't know about Bands. It's like I gotta be careful Like what I say here <laughs> Okay what was the last concert You've been to Tristan Last concert I went to I don't know I don't, Actually I can't, I can't I can't think of any How about you Kyle It's probably a uh, Damn I went to a Paul, metal show In Paul San McCartney. Francisco <laughs> The one in Candlestick Yeah Oh you were there too? Oh wait no not that one The not one before one? that At uh, AT&T Oh okay, okay. Oh, I saw Behemoth at Slims, I think, last year. Behemoth at Slims. How about you, Mark? Uh, I just went and caught Al Miola at the Rock Bar in town. Oh, that's a few in nights Santa ago. Clara. Yeah, he just played last. Uh... Tell us about that venue. I wanted to hear about what that was like. Yeah. Yeah, the Rock Bar. Well, they're still they're still building it. It's it's kind of weird because the visibility of of the act is hard, and you know, that because they don't have a stage really. Someone told me it was like a rocker's mansion. Right, that's what I thought. Yeah, that's they don't the have photos. a stage. Yeah. It's like weird skulls and candles. Yeah, they got and... candles lit. It's all very moody and dark and kind of like oh, red. But, <laughs> but, but they left all the we'll sort see. of like the old Garden City carpeting, so that maybe that has to go. Yeah. But I think to improve it, they uh, they should just put in a stage with a drum riser. So Al Miola's band, the rhythm section was sort of off to the side, and no risers, and they were buried in music stands, and you just couldn't really yeah, see you them. You go up to the stage is like. Like two feet And tall. it was packed, so you just had a whole... There were mostly dudes, right? It's an Al Miola <laughs> show. It's mostly guys. So they're all up front, and you can't really see very well. I could, but I mean, in terms well, I of saw, like, I saw how they can improve... I saw Sebastian Bach there, and his chest hair <laughs> was, was right there. <laughs> <laughs> like he should have been on, on, a, like a, on a cable or fl- flying through the air because they have this huge peaked roof, and the uh, mm-hmm. sound just goes... Rawr. But I guess Al Miola has tinnitus, so it, the show is relatively low by rock standards, but I noticed... Uh, like Michael Schenker is playing there, so that'll be more of a test of the acoustics of the room. But I'm gonna try and check that show. Out. Yeah, but it was it was it was a nice it was a good sound, you know, because he kept it low and you could hear everybody really clean and seemed to be pretty good. But they I could see that how they could improve the get a stage get get the drum riser get everything visible so you can appreciate it more. You know what right. what they're good playing. Idea. Yeah, oh that's perfect. But that was my last show. Well, I want to congratulate Matt, you. what was your last show? Oh, Matt? Oh, yes. yeah. The bus driver. <laughs> I saw the English language at the Milk Bar in San Francisco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, I mean, before that was, um, it was great, actually a great Portland band, uh, Cambrian Explosion. I saw oh, yeah. they, they did this. Oh, the house party. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Cambrian this, Explosion. Yeah, yeah. It's it's like very, very, it's like the like, rock, but it's like very rhythmic. It kind of, it, it, What's the right word? Sort of trancey. Tra- yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like totally that. like fell into a trance while I was watching it. It was great. That's yeah. perfect. Oh my gosh. That was really cool. 
How about you, Mark? What was your last job? Uh, S- Sebastian Bach at the Rock Bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was he drunk off wine? <laughs> I, yeah, I think he was on something, but he was, <laughs> yeah, he <Usually> was <laughs> in my face, two inches away, and sweating, and his chest hair was right there. And it, was, it was very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Can't get any closer than that to a rock star. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's a little too close, but it was it was fun. It, it was a great time, good times. Um, I'm talking to the Eng- the English language here on KSU Santa Clara, 103.3 FM, the Underground Sound. Their new album is called Happy Horror, and uh, we're gonna get into some more tunes here off the new album. This is a song called I'll Be Happy. And any thoughts or comments about? Oh, this, this? is the Theremin song. The theremin song? Okay. I'll be happy by the English language. See you, Santa Clara, 103.3 FM, the underground sound. That's a band called The English Language out of Portland, Oregon. They used to be local, and they're on their third new album now called Happy Horror by The English Language. That was a track there called I'll Be Happy. And we're just about wrapping up the album. We've played every cut off the new album, except for one more. And I uh, want to thank you guys for giving me your album and the T-shirt, which is excellent. Got it. Thank you guys for coming on my show. I mean, you guys are a lot of fun. You even let me in one of your videos. I mean, how do I thank you enough? Mark, you guys. Thank you. Thank you you so much. And I'm sorry I missed your two shows here. Yeah, you missed a good one at the caravan. It was killer. I know. Had a great time. I I missed it, and I know you guys will come back again though for the fourth album or whatnot. Oh yeah. Yeah. And it'll be great. Uh, stay together, guys. Keep it going. Keep the <laughs> chemistry going. And uh, I just want to wish you guys good luck on the tour of the new album. And do uh, you guys have any plans on visiting any other radio stations? I think you should. You we know? did Portland Radio. Maybe do it again. We should. 
Yeah. I mean, get out there and, you know, push the album as much as you guys can. Mm -hmm. It's good stuff. I mean, I'm a fan. So I think the album is fantastic. And um, you guys' photos on the back cover is pretty pretty good. How'd you get that done? How'd you do that with the with the red? Photoshop. Dude. Is that all Photoshop? No, no, that's all in the garage, man. <laughs> Dude, it took us a lot a lot of hours <laughs> with flashlights you... and darkness. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, we turned our garage into a video studio for the, the music video is gonna be like that too. That's really? coming out pretty soon. For what song? Yeah. Sister Satan. That's gonna be awesome. Wow. Do you guys have anything to show, like, on YouTube? Can people get onto YouTube and type in the English language? And uh, the whole album's yeah. up there. You can listen to the album, but there's no, there's there's no, no new for this one. new videos for this album. Yeah. There's there's a live one, I think, of the first track, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, there's some live ones. Do you guys still play tracks off the old albums when you're performing live? Yeah. Yeah, all three. It's like 50-50 or something like that. Okay. Is there like a place you guys want to play, whether it be in Oregon or down here or anywhere? I want to play the new place here, the Ritz. Oh, the Ritz? Yeah. I think next time we come back, that's where we should play. What about Rock Bar? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not until they get a stage. Yeah, not until they get a stage. <laughs> or drum riser, says the drummer. <laughs> I'd rather play at the Caravan. That's my spot. That place is rad. Have you guys ever played a place that you guys were like, oh, no, we really don't want to play here? All the time. <laughs> really? Yeah, it happens. It doesn't happen that much on this tour, but... This tour has been good. Yeah. Have you guys ever played in uh, Washington State? Once in We Port played Townsend. in a really weird spot, yeah. Yeah, it's a small like town in, on the inside of the Puget Sound. Really, like across the bay from Washington or from Seattle. It's like a coffee shop run by homeless people. Yeah, it's like a weird, like, like a mellow, really co-op. mellow Santa Cruz kind of vibe, and really? like teenagers that have nothing to do and stuff like that. At the place, the place, the place we played at was like a not non-profit co-op oh. coffee shop. It was okay, but yeah, weird. it was a cool. It was spot, weird. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> what was the weather like up there when you went up there? Uh, it was nice. I was it, yeah, I think it was really nice. It wasn't cold. I think because that was in that was like early a while summer ago. last year. Yeah, end of the summer. Yeah, no, early summer or early summer. Jeez. And how many gigs are you planning to do this year? The, this year? Yeah. This whole year? Yeah, who knows? Oh, man, yeah. at least like yeah. <laughs> forty. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're well, gonna do probably the more than tour, and maybe another tour. How, how often do you guys rehearse for gigs? Is it like three times a week, four times a week? Uh, well, it's sort of like, it depends what's coming up, you know, like we, we have a tour coming up then you'll prepare for that, but we don't really get a chance to like rehearse on, on tour. So you guys really need to rehearse. You probably know your stuff pretty well, right? Right now we don't. Yeah, right, right now we're okay. Yeah. And then how many songs do you guys perform when you're doing a performance? Mm, that changes too. It's but probably like 12 to 15 yeah. per set. I don't know. Although we, we, we got like a. 20 30 minute set in San Francisco last week, and that was I ended up only being like oh, six yeah. songs or something. <laughs> what, where was that at? Milk Bar. Milk Bar, okay. Yeah, that's a cool spot. I liked it a lot. And then when you guys are performing live, do you ever like go off into jams to the point where you guys are doing solos? Do you guys do any specific solos? Maybe Mark or Mark's got a solo for sure. Yeah, we always, we always make some room for that. Okay, interesting. Captain Trips. Yeah, that's right. That's perfect. It's a good closer kind of song. It is. I like that song a lot, actually. That's on the last album, Science Rock and Roll. Well, again, thank thank you guys for being on the show. It's been great having you here. It's good to see you, Mark. Good to yeah. see you again. Yeah, it's you been a while. Really, it has been a while. Hopefully, I'll see you guys again. For sure. That's fantastic. So when are you guys going back to, to Portland? By Wednesday or something like that. Uh, yeah, probably the 6th, I think. It's perfect. Well, thanks again, guys. Uh, once again, I'm Modern Mark. This is the Modern Mayhem Show. And I'm here with the band, the English Language, and their bus driver, Matt. <laughs> and uh, don't want to leave anybody out. <laughs> thanks again for the shirt, the CDs. I'll get it in rotation. And thank you guys for being on the show. This is fantastic. Thanks a lot, Mark. You rock. Yeah. I advise everybody listening to go buy their album on CD Baby or off their website, EnglishLanguageMusic.com. It's worth the money because you're going to really enjoy this album. It's really, really good. And we're going to finish off the show, the last track of the album. The album is called Happy Horror by the English Language. 
This is the last track. It's called Venus in Tune. Thank you, guys. Flowers and the trees and the birds and the bees and the sun up above. Stars and the moon and the dish with the spoon ran away from it all. But every once in a while, that girl turns the world with a smile. Picture yourself. Herself aligned and in KSU Santa Clara, 103.3 FM, The Underground Sound. I'm Modern Mark. This is the end of the Modern Mayhem Show. And once again, I just want to thank the English language for being here and uh, taking their time to help promote their new album and everything. And uh, guys, wish you luck on the new album and the tour. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys again. That'd be great. Come visit us. Dude. Yeah. Come out to Portland, dude. We'll I put will. you up. I will. I need to. Thanks again, guys. All right. Thank you. No problem. I'm going to leave everybody here now with some granddaddy. <laughs>